Hi, my name is Brian and I'm a science fair judge and I want to give you a few guidelines that will help you develop a good science fair project. Now, if anything in this video contradicts your science fair's rules or your teacher's instructions, you should obviously follow what they say. Specifically, I judge physics projects, so the advice in this video is mostly tailored toward those, but I think you'll find it helpful regardless of your topic. Hey, speaking of topics, the first guideline for winning at the science fair is pick an interesting topic. Interesting means that the topic should interest you. The judges don't want to see you present a project that you're not interested in, and you probably won't learn much from a project that you don't care about. But you also want to present a project that's likely to be interesting to the judges as well. Judges want to see you talk about a question that doesn't have an obvious answer, or they want to see you prove that something that seems obvious might be wrong or more complicated than it appears. One good way to find a topic that's likely interesting to the judges is to look at current scientific questions in popular media. Every week there are articles and blog posts examining everyday science questions, sometimes related to movies and TV shows like Star Wars and MacGyver. You can pretty much look through Dr. Allen's blog and get like a million ideas. Now, if you really want your project to stand out to the judges, you'll probably want to avoid topics that have been done repeatedly. These are topics like, does I smell faster in a different colored cooler? Or, which brand of battery lasts the longest? Basically, if you know of another student who has done or is doing a similar project, see if you can take a different direction. And of course, one of the most frequently repeated types of project is the sports-related project. These are projects like, how high will a baseball fly if I hit it with a different color bat? Or while I wear sunglasses? Basically, sports has been done to death in science fair projects. I'm not saying that there are no interesting sports-related topics out there, but there are so many sports projects every year that they start to look the same to the judges. And to be honest, most of them don't generate very good data. Ooh, let's talk about data in a minute. If you're really interested in doing a sports-related science fair project, I would recommend finding something related to biomechanics, which is a lot more interesting and will get you better data. And speaking of data, let's move on to our second guideline, collect good data. The data you collect should be the star of the show on your poster board, and it's kind of hard to make data the star if it doesn't have any numbers. Most likely, when your judges look at your data, they're going to expect to see some kind of graph with one set of numbers on the horizontal axis and another set of numbers on the vertical axis. Information like colors or type of baseball bat don't make for good data because they don't necessarily translate into numbers. That means your results should be based on something you can actually measure. Instead of listing the brand of baseball bat, if you insist on doing a sports-related project, try listing the weight of the bat, or the length, or the weight per length. Scientists just love a good something per something else. You want your results to tell a story, and stories need to be told in a logical order. By focusing on information you can measure with numbers, you're helping give the story a logical order that your judges can follow easily. And when you're telling that story, you want to have lots of data. If you get to the end of your project and you only have three data points, there really isn't much story to tell. When planning out your measurements, think of the largest measurement you might want to take and the smallest measurement you might want to take. Then take enough measurements to fill in the gap between them. I can't tell you the number of science fair projects I've judged where I wish the students had taken more measurements. Yes, this means repeating your experiment, but once you've built the method for the experiment, why not take a little extra time to get as much information as you can? Think of your science project as an exploration. The data is already out there. You just have to go looking for it. And to help you look for data, there are lots of tools already out there that you can probably use in your project. So let's close out with guideline number three, use free software. There are many science-related programs and cell phone apps out there that can help make your science fair project a success. I'd like to recommend two tools in particular that can help you get lots of high-quality data without needing a complicated setup. These are Tracker and vPython. These are two programs that are easy to learn, free, and will make your project look amazing. Tracker is a video analysis program that's basically a science fair project in a box. First, you record a video of the thing that you want to study. Let's say it's a golf ball flying through the air. Then you upload the video into Tracker. Then you tell Tracker what in the video you want it to follow, and presto, you've got graphs of the golf ball's position, velocity, acceleration, kinetic energy, everything you might want in a science fair project. You can get started with Tracker in the tutorials and articles in the description below. 
vPython is a simple programming package that you can use to simulate the thing that you want to study. Let's say it's a golf ball flying through the air. vPython will help you turn your hypothesis into a numerical prediction. You can then compare the simulation against your results from Tracker to evaluate whether your hypothesis was valid. You can get started with vPython in the tutorials and the articles in the description below. Let me put it this way. I have never seen a science fair project use Tracker or vPython, but I think that if I did, I would place them at the top automatically. So to recap, if you want to win at the science fair, pick an interesting topic, get good data, and use helpful tools like Tracker and vPython. Thanks so much for watching. I hope these guidelines have been helpful. I'll see you at the science fair.